Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to try to custom fit um, some cosplay pieces so that it fits you better. Now, when we design these things, um, sometimes, well, a lot of times actually, is when we look at the, the reference photo, we just design it as we see it. Um, it's very difficult to get 100% accuracy and have something really fit each individual person because let's face it everyone's proportions just aren't the same especially if you're trying to compare yourself to a comic book character or a character that's on tv i mean a lot of these things are you know fit specifically to that person and so what we're going to do is we're going to go into blender and we're going to try to make these fit make it fit you best as possible now the notorious parts for these are normally the helmets where when you try to put it on it just the back fits you, but when you try to put it in the front, where the chin part is, right by your jaw, it just hits your forehead. And if you can just get your head through that, everything would be fine. Um, so all you want to do is really just open that up so you can put the helmet on and, and it would be better. Um, so we're going to try to do that. Um, another uh, notorious culprit is the forearm. Um, when you try to put your hand through something, um, sometimes your hand's too wide and you have like a, a smaller wrist and a larger base of the forearm I mean you know it's just sometimes it just doesn't work that way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to adjust some of these things and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in blender so let's jump on okay so what I have here is a piece of armor that I know is notorious for um, just having th this wrist part right here is way too small for me now once I scale it that it, it the length fits me this part right here um, it just, it, it's too small. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm undoing some things here. So what I first want you to do is press three. So I imported it, right? I imported it, I imported the file and I pressed three to go into face mode or click on this button right here. And then I want you to go up here to see this. You see this target looking thing? It's proportional editing. So what I want you to do is while in face mode, I want you to turn on proportional editing. And when you click on a face and you press G, this circle is going to pop pop out. Now you can use your, your your mouse wheel to make it bigger or smaller. And what that's going to do is, is it's, go, it's going to um, elongate or, or proportionally edit everything encompassing that circle. Okay, so that's what we want. Now what I want is to make this wrist part larger. So I'm going to click on a face there. I'm going to press G and I'm just going to pull it out slightly. So I'm going to take this one, press G and then pull it out slightly. And now all I did was make the wrist part just a slightly bit bigger without touching the rest of the mesh, right? That's all I wanted was to make it just a slightly bit bigger so that my handle fit through. Now what you can do is while you're grabbing it, you can make it smaller or bigger as you're grabbing it. So you can make um, finer adjustments to how you want it to look. Okay, now I've done it already. And so here's what it looks like. All right. This is the original piece right here. Okay, so the custom one is this thing where I made it wider. And the original is this thing. Whoop. Is this thing so you guys can see the difference where my hand would actually fit better here because it's well your hand is is flatter rather than, than this part okay so that's how you would do that you would just basically do the same thing for a helmet all right so it's, it, it would do the same thing for a helmet okay so you would press 3 to go to face mode click on the face make sure your proportional editing is on press G and your circle should pop out um, and then you just make it larger, right? And now you can move that entire jaw piece. Now, be careful when you do this because you got to do the other side too, okay? Um, now, I'm not sure how to do <laughs> how to do it yet. Uh, I think you just symmetrize if I'm not mistaken. So... You would just take that and you would do the same thing and just grab right and you would pull out and that's how you would you would adjust it now if you think that you um, 
you, you messed up and the faceplate was also, um, you know, manipulated, then you're going to have to adjust the faceplate as well. And, and those are the dangers that you have when you want to customize something um, on the helmet front. So that's only if you have a faceplate. But if you don't have a faceplate and you want to just do a, a full piece helmet that you want to adjust, then there you go. That's how you do it. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to help you guys out. If I did, please give me a thumbs up down below and make sure you uh, subscribe. And this file, by the way, is free on my website at nicoindustries.com. Um, link for that is in the description below. And um, all you got to do is sign up for the newsletter and you'll get th you'll get this specific helmet 100% um, free. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.